this colorway so clean last year it's pretty fair to say that the most popular nike sneaker was the zoom romero 5 a sneaker that back in 2010 originally released as a running shoe however nike nowadays markets it as an everyday lifestyle focused sneaker we now have one of the first colorways to drop this year and in this video i'll be telling you everything you need to know about the nike zoom romero 5. So the shoe I have right here is the Zoom Romero 5 in the light or wood brown colorway. It has had an earlier release in Europe. Quite a few retailers have them now. However, they still haven't released on the sneakers app as of yet. And from what I read online, the release date in North America is supposed to happen sometime in the spring of this year. And the official name of this sneaker is the Zoom Romero 5 SE, which stands for special edition. As there are quite a few features about this shoe that does make it stand out from your regular Romero 5s. The retail price on these was also a bit higher it retailed for 170 euros and in the US they will be going for $170 which is $10 more than your regular retail price of your normal Zoom Romero 5s. Let's get into the shoe as you can see most of the upper of the sneaker is covered in mesh and it's a very big hole mesh used here. When I think about one of the defining features of early 2000 runners or Y2K sneakers big hold mesh just like this is a very prominent feature in those type of shoes and on this pair it's done in a light cream or almost like a very light brown color. The front panel on the toe box is made of synthetic leather and features two 3M stripes on it. What's interesting about this pair is that you also get this suede material that you can see on the upper, which normally has synthetic leather. It is quite unusual to see suede on a Bomero and it's also why the sneaker has a higher price point. You get a hairy suede here, which if I'm being honest, it does feel like it's more of a synthetic suede. And when you touch it, it almost feels like felt. Moving on to the swoosh here, you get what feels like a plastic swoosh done in this very light blue color but it is surrounded by this 3m material so when light flashes directly on it for example you know from your phone camera or the headlights of a car you will see a pretty cool outline of the swoosh on the sneaker and underneath the swoosh you have your familiar tpu cage that you get on most romeros and this time it's done in a gray color the material does kind of have a rubber type of feel to it there is some more of that hairy suede being used on the eyelets of the sneaker and you'll notice that the laces on this pair look a bit different than most Romero's so here you get those sure laces which is pretty rare to see on a Romero which normally comes with just regular round laces. The tongue of the sneaker is made in nylon and you get the Nike Romero 5 branding on the tongue tab. More of that nylon can be seen on the inner lining of the sneaker and if you have a look at the insole it is a very different insole that you're getting on this pair. It does feature some text on it. On the right pair it seems like it's encouraging you to write on your shoe so write the date acquired the activities you did in them and also the date you retired the shoe and then looking at the left insole it says concept future motion designed in beaverton oregon season sp24 and intended use sport life i tried doing some research into what exactly nike future motion is and i couldn't find any sort of information about it so if any of you guys know please leave a comment and let me know i've noticed that not only is this sneaker called the zoom romero 5 future motion there's also the nike air humera drop recently and that one is also called Future Motion. So not exactly sure. It might be a new division from Nike. On the heel of the sneaker, you get this heel cage, which is made of TPU, which does give you some pretty nice stability on the heel. It's done in this gray color. And additionally, you get even more 3M panels on the back, including a Nike swoosh. And that 3M swoosh seems to be pretty unique to this colorway. I don't think I've seen another Romero 5 that has a 3M swoosh on the heel. Moving down to the midsole, that's where you get this nice little pop of color, which is called armory blue and it goes really well with the lighter tones on the upper and the rest of the midsole is done in different tones of gray moving to the outsole you get this rubberized outsole which has some grooves in it to give you some better traction and flexibility and you also get this blue shank plate right in the center from a comfort point of view if you have been a longtime fan of this channel you guys know how much i love the Romero 5 been a fan of this shoe for many many years and the main reason is just because of how comfortable these feel on feet i still feel like it is the 
most comfortable lifestyle sneaker that Nike makes. Another thing I like about the way this shoe feels on feet is that I do like that I feel low to the ground, which makes me feel a bit more stable compared to some other sneakers. And for sizing on this sneaker, I need to talk about another pair of Vimeros that I own. So this is the oatmeal colorway that came out last year. Now this pair was a woman's release. So I ended up getting this in a woman's 12 and a half, which translates to a men's 11. Now this one is a men's sneaker, which I got in a size 11. And I have to say these two do fit very differently on feet. So with this sneaker, I got it in my true size. The oatmeal pair, the woman's pair definitely feels a lot more narrow on feet. So those of you with wider feet, probably better off going up half a size in those. However, with this pair, the light orward brown, it does feel significantly more roomier in the midfoot and the toe area. I think you can easily go true to size on this pair and it is the perfect fit even if you have wider feet. This TPU cage at the back is also very good for holding your heel in place so you don't really have issues with heel slippage on this pair either. Go with your true Nike size, you won't regret it to give you some reference. I also go with my true size in all Air Max sneakers, in most Jordans like Jordan 1s and 3s and 4s and I go a half size down in the Air Force 1. And of course, this kind of goes without saying, but another thing I absolutely love about the Zoom Vomero 5 is just how versatile of a sneaker it is. So I, you don't even have to really think about it when deciding which outfits you want to wear because these shoes pretty much go with anything. They're very low profile, so they look pretty good with most types of pants. I got a pretty simple fit going on here. The jacket is a thrifted bomber jacket. The gray hoodie I have underneath is from Cole Buxton. The hat is from Emilio Andor. And those uh, worker style pants, I got them from Uniqlo. Overall, the Zoom Romero 5 continues to be one of my favorite Nike shoes. It's super comfortable and also a very versatile shoe that I think just looks good with most outfits. This particular pair, I have to say, I'm not sure why it comes with a higher price point because the materials used on this pair aren't that much more special than your regular Romero 5s. However, it is a very, very clean colorway. Just like I do every other year, I plan on wearing the Romero 5 quite a lot this year as well let me know in the comments are you guys planning to cop a pair of vomeros this year and if you have been wearing vomero fives for a while let me know what your experience has been please subscribe if you haven't already done so it takes you guys one minute to hit that button and it takes me about five hours to make upload and edit a video so i would really appreciate it make sure you're following me on instagram as well that's why i am the most active at jdkick6 is the handle and finally check out my sneaker podcast the links to that for spotify apple music you can find that in the description i'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.